Welcome to this session on methodology for compiling gross value added estimates for manufacturing industry. In this presentation, we will learn the methodology being followed by National Accounts Division NSO, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation for compiling the gross value added estimates for manufacturing industry. Here we will see how the GVA estimates for manufacturing are compiled for the nation as a whole and then how this all India GVA is allocated among the states. So before learning the methodology we will look into some basic concepts and understand some basic keywords which will keep reoccurring during the entire presentation. These concepts will include NIC that is National Industrial Classification, CC that is Compilation Categories, ASI that is Annual Survey of Industries, IIP that is Index of Industrial Production and WPI that is Wholesale Price Index. First of all, we will all have a look into NIC codes. 2008. NIC is an essential statistical standard for developing and maintaining comparable database according to economic activities. It is revised by National Statistical Office from time to time to take care of the significant changes in the organization and structure of industries. Latest classification available is NIC 2008 which can be downloaded from this link. Now every economic activity in the country can be represented by some NIC code. At most disaggregated level NIC codes are of five digits. Every five digit NIC code can be defined under some section, a two digit division, three digit group and four digit class. For example, this NIC code 01632 is defined for the economic activity cotton ginning, cleaning and bailing. This activity comes under section A of the NIC codes that is agriculture, forestry and fishing. Under section A comes division 01 that is crop and animal production hunting and related service activities. Under section A and this division 01 comes group 016 that is support activities to agriculture and post harvest crop activities. Under section A and this division 01 and group 016 comes class 0163 that is post harvest crop activities. Then at last comes the subclass that is the final NIC code at the most disaggregated level which is 01632 and it is defined for the economic activity cotton ginning, cleaning and bailing. In the national account statistics all the economic activities under manufacturing have been categorized into 30 compilation categories based on the nature of the manufacturing activities for the estimation of gross value added for entire manufacturing sector. You will see all the 30 compilation categories in the next slide. These compilation categories are based on NIC 2008 codes of all the economic activities. Almost every activity under manufacturing comes under section C which includes the divisions from 10 to 33. Two exceptions to this are the activities under the NIC codes 01632 and 14105. The NIC code 01632 which is cotton ginning, cleaning and bailing not being under the divisions from 10 to 33 
is included in manufacturing. Whereas this NIC code 14105 which is the custom, custom tailoring being under the divisions from 10 to 33 is included in services not in manufacturing. In this slide you can see all the 30 compilation categories under manufacturing, their description and the corresponding NIC codes of the activities. Here we can see that compilation category 1 consists of the NIC groups from 101 to 104, where group 101 represents processing and preserving of meat, 102 represents processing and preserving of fish, 103 represents processing and preserving of fruit and vegetables, and group 104 represents manufacture of vegetable and animal oils and fats. Since these activities are of similar kind, these have been clubbed into one category, compilation category 1, to estimate the gross value added by these activities. It can also be observed that all the NIC codes in these 30 compilation categories belong to the divisions 10 to 33 except 01632 which has been included in compilation category 7 that is manufacture of textiles plus cotton ginning whereas the NIC codes 14105 even after being in the uh, categories uh, even after being in the uh, belonging to the NIC codes 10 to 33 it has been excluded from compilation category 8 this is 14 minus 14105 now the next basic concept which we talked about was annual survey of industries ASI Annual Survey of Industries is the principal source of industrial statistics in India. It provides statistical information to assess and evaluate objectively and realistically the changes in the growth, composition and structure of organized manufacturing sector comprising activities related to manufacturing process, repair services, gas and water supply and cold storage. This survey is carried out by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation on annual basis under the statutory provisions of Collection of Statistics Act 1953. ASI schedule is the basic tool to collect required data from the units selected for the survey. The reference period for ASI is the financial year and it covers all factories registered under section 2M1 wherein 10 or more workers are working or were working on any day of the preceding 12 months and in any part of which is which a manufacturing process is being carried on with the aid of power or is ordinarily so carried on and under section 2M2 wherein 20 or more workers are working or were working on any day of the preceding 12 months and in any part of which a manufacturing process is being carried on without the aid of power or is ordinarily so carried on. These definitions belong to the Factories Act 1948. ASI also provides the organization type of the factories. There are nine types of organizations defined in ASI, namely individual proprietorship, partnership, limited liability partnership, government company public, government company private, non-government company public, non-government company private, cooperative societies and others. 
The next concept of index of industrial production, IIP, is also very important for estimation of GBA of manufacturing industry. IIP is a composite index that measures the short term changes in the volume of production of a basket of industrial products during a given period. The All India IIP provides a single representative figure to measure the general level of industrial activity in the economy on a monthly basis. It is compiled and published on a monthly basis by the National Statistical Office NSO, with a time lag of 6 weeks from the reference month. The base year for IIP is 2011-12. IIP indices are also available for various economic activities and IC code wise. They are suitably combined together to get indices corresponding to different compilation categories of manufacturing sector. The next index used in compilation of GVA in manufacturing industry is wholesale price index that is WPI. Wholesale price index is an indicator of the average price movement over time of a fixed basket of goods and services before the retail level. It is released on monthly basis by the Office of the Economic Advisor. For certain products, it is also available on weekly basis. The current base year for WPI is also 2011-12. WPI is available for various goods and services. The manufacturing items are selected from that list and suitably combined together to estimate indices corresponding to different compilation categories of manufacturing sector. Now we come to the part where we start estimating the GVA of manufacturing industry. For measuring the GVA of manufacturing Various manufacturing enterprises have been broadly classified into two categories, organized sector and unorganized sector. The organized sector can be further divided into the institutions, departmental enterprises, non-departmental enterprises, private corporate and ASI non-corporate. In departmental enterprises, railways is separately measured. We will look into all these institutions one by one and measure the All India GVA in each of them and allocate the All India GVA into various states for each of the institution. We will also estimate the compilation category voice GVA for each of them. Firstly, we will look into the departmental enterprises or DEs. Earlier, these were known as DCUs, that is Departmental Commercial Undertakings. DEs are basically the enterprises completely owned and controlled by the public authorities. These are mainly engaged in furnishing the kind of goods and services which are often produced by business establishments. DEs do not hold or manage financial assets and liabilities apart from their working balance and business accounts. For example, railways, posts and telegraphs, overseas communication services, minor irrigation, multi-purpose river projects, irrigation, navigation and drainage projects, electricity schemes, forest, government dis distilleries and factories, ordinance factories, public works and workshops, government presses, road and water transport services, tourist transport services, tourist accommodation, commercial broadcasting services, milk supply schemes and port trust. Now, we will look into the estimation of GVA of departmental enterprises D is except railways after which the GVA of railways will be estimated separately. So the main data source for all India GVA of D is in manufacturing industry 
is budget documents of center and states. GV of D is, is calculated through income approach using budget data. Income approach is one of the three approaches which are production approach, income approach and expenditure approach to measure GDP, gross domestic product. In this approach, we first estimate the net value added, NVA, available for each unit of production which is equal to the amount of income generated by the unit in the process of production. Then CFC consumption of fixed capital which is nothing but the depreciation of the fixed capital in the process of production is added in NVA to calculate the total GV. To allocate the total GVA into 30 compilation categories, CC wise ratios were fixed in the base year on the basis of the nature of the departmental enterprises. Now, for state wise allocation of all India GVA of departmental enterprises except railways, all the departmental enterprises in the country are divided into three categories central departmental enterprises, state departmental enterprises and local body, body DEs. Now the NBA of state DEs and local body DEs are directly allocated to the respective state. The NBA of central DEs is allocated to states on the basis of their location. Now the GSVA, the gross value added of the state will be equal to the net value added of the state plus consumption of fixed capital of the respective state. Now for CC wise allocation of GSVA of each state, all India compilation category wise ratio is used for each state. Now we will see the estimation process of all India GVA of railways. Railways workshops and production unit GVAs are included under manufacturing sector. Rest of the railways GVA calculated separately and is not part of the manufacturing sector. The main data source for railways is also budget documents. The GVA of railways is calculated using budget data through income approach as explained earlier. This total GVA of railways is put under just one compilation category which is CC19 the description of which is manufacture of transport. Now how this all India GV of railways is allocated to the states. The method of allocating all India GV of railway manufacturing to all states is explained here. The state wise GVA of railways manufacturing is calculated in two parts railway manufacturing workshops and railway production units. Now, this all India GVA railways manufacturing workshops is allocated among states on the basis of sanctioned strength of employees in that state. And the all India GVA railways of production unit is allocated among states based on proportion of state-wise salaries. The next institution under organized manufacturing is NDEs that is non-departmental enterprises. NDEs were earlier known as NDCUs, non-departmental commercial undertakings. Now these NDEs are government companies or public corporations registered under Companies Act 1956 or 2013 and having 51% or more share of government. Public corporations set up in the Central or State Government Act and wholly owned and controlled by the public authorities also come under NDEs. Now, how this All India GVA of NDEs is calculated? The main source 
for estimating all India GVA of NDEs is their annual reports. GVA for NDEs is calculated using production approach from annual reports of NDEs. In production approach, GVA is calculated by subtracting the intermediate consumption from the this, this is IC intermediate consumption from the total output of the enterprise. The CC wise allocation of GVA of NDEs is done on the basis of the nature of the NDE company. Now, for state wise allocation of all India GVA of NDEs, NDEs are divided into two categories center NDEs and state NDEs. GVA of state NDEs is allocated directly to the respective states. Now, for allocating center NDEs among the states, GVA of center NDEs is divided in two parts C compensation to employees and the remaining part GVA minus CE. CE of the center NDEs is allocated amongst states on the basis of number of employees and the other part GVA minus CE of center NDEs is allocated amongst uh, states on the basis of gross blocks based on DPE publications Department of Public Enterprises. Now the CC wise allocation on the basis of CC wise allocation of All India GVA is done on the basis of the nature of the NDE company. Now the next institution under organized manufacturing is private corporate which we will call in short PC. This institution includes joint stock companies registered under the Companies Act 1956 or 2013 in the private sector. The main data sources to estimate all India GVA of private corporate manufacturing is MCA 21 database which is Ministry of Corporate Affairs database and results of ASI Annual Survey of Industries. The GV of private corporate calculated, uh, is calculated using the MCA database through production approach as explained earlier. For CC wise allocation of total All India GV of private corporate, ASI results are used. The allocation is done on the basis of structure of ASI in those CCs in respect of the following organization types. Number, organization type number three is limited liability partnership. Organization type number six is non-government company public and organization type number seven is non-government company private. In absence of ASI results of any year, the previous year ASI structure is used. Now, to allocate the All India GVA of private corporate among states, ASI structure of the states in respect of organization types 3, 6 and 7 is used. CC wise allocation in each state is also done on the basis of CC wise ASI structure for states. This is the list of organization type of data captured by ASI. There are nine types of organizations defined in ASI. Type 3, 6, 7 as explained earlier come under private corporate. Type 4 and 5 come under NDEs, non-departmental enterprises. And the remaining types 1, 2, 8 and 9 this is individual prop, uh, individual proprietorship partnership cooperative societies and others these come under category non-corporate which is the next part of the 
institution type in organized manufacturing sector. Now, all India GBA of non-corporate is estimated directly from the ASI data. The years for which ASI data is available, GBA of organization type 1, 2, 8, 9 is calculated. For CC wise allocation, the CC wise GBA is also calculated from ASI data. If the ASI results are not available for any year, CC wise combined growth rate of IIP and WPI applied on previous year values. Now this all India GVA of ASI non-corporate is allocated CC wise to states according to state ASI structure. In absence of ASI results, previous year state ASI structure is used for allocation. So far, we have estimated the all India GVA and state wise GVA of organized manufacturing sector. The unorganized manufacturing includes all unincorporated manufacturing enterprises except those covered in ASI. The main data source for estimating the all India GVA of unorganized manufacturing sectors are NSS survey results, ASI results and IIP and WPI. The methodology followed for estimating all India GVA of unorganized manufacturing is described here. The benchmark estimates for the, for the base year have been prepared using effective labor input method by assigning appropriate weights to different categories of workers engaged in the economic activity based on their pro productivity. Effective labor input is estimated from 68th round employment unemployment survey 2011-12 and effective value added per worker is estimated from 67th round enterprise survey 2010-11. Now effective GVA will be equal to effective labor input into effective GVA per worker. This effective GVA has been prepared for base year for each compilation category. CC wise ASI pure quasi organization code 1 and 2 growth is applied to the benchmark estimates to get the estimates for the subsequent years. In case of non availability of ASI data, CC wise IIP and WPI growth is applied on the estimates of the previous year. All India unorganized GVA is divided state-wise on the basis of the ratio prepared in the base year. State-wise ASI pure quasi organization code 1 and 2 growth is applied to the state-wise GVA of the previous year to get the estimates for the subsequent years. The GV of every state is further allocated CC wise using base year ratio. Now all these manufacturing GVAs are calculated in current prices. To estimate the GV of manufacturing at constant prices, the wholesale price index has been used compilation category wise to obtain the estimates at constant prices. Thank you.